Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bengals Genius Show. Bengals Genius here, toughing through a Monday night battle with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, I'll be honest with you. When I started the Bengal Genius Show, I just wanted to basically document as we built towards winning a Super Bowl. Started at Marvin Lewis's last year, and along the way, we played a role, in my head at least, and things have worked out lovely. Except for this year and 2020, of course, when the season's ended with Joe Burrow's injuries. But here we are. And the season's still not over. The things have fell in a certain way that the Bengals are still alive at five and six, although we need some help from Jake Browning. And last week, my big disappointment with the guy when I look back and rewatch some of the film. Listen, Jake, you're out there, man. This is your only shot. Don't not make the most out of your opportunity by being a puss. Throw it, man. Just drop back and wing it and see what happens. Because there were times when Chase was open and he just was hesitant. And I think he might be a little afraid to fail because, you know, it's his only opportunity. And, you know, so he's taking them little check downs and little dinker and dunkers. Let it rip, man. Let it rip and just see what happens. You don't want to look back on your life and say, I failed because I was a puss. You know, say, hey, I went out, guns are blazing. I got to give Jameis Winston some credit. I mean, the guy's horrible. You know, the only guy in NFL history had 30 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. Uh, reason to bring him up, I watched him for a minute yesterday. And right off the right off the bat, he got in the game and threw it and almost got intercepted. And they didn't win the game or nothing. But no one can say that the guy was not brave. He will throw it into whatever. And that's what you got to do. You just got this one opportunity, Jake. Don't blow it. Make the most of it. Now, Zach Taylor and the Bengals, I really think if you wanted to have your best chance to win these games, you'd go with A.J. McCarron. I just got a feeling about that guy that he could do something more than Jake. But let's give Jake another opportunity here. But if we're only going to generate 10 points, then what are we doing here? What are we doing? You look at a situation like in Indianapolis with Garden Minshew lighting it up, and here they are, playoff bound. I really do want to make the playoffs. So if we can win this game, we still got the Colts, we still got the Steelers, we still got the Browns. Ha <laughs> ha! There's a new segment called Ha ha! Pittsburgh and Cleveland. I'm going to make fun of each of the AFC North teams when anything goes bad up for them because I'm rooting against all of them, but. Cleveland, you lost. I love how you see you turn to Joe Flacco. That could be worse, Jake Browning, guys. We could have Joe Flacco in there. And the Steelers got smoked by the Cardinals, which is always great to see. I hate you, Brownies, and I hate you, Steelers. So, ha, ha, ha. Good to see you guys lose. Let's just hope they keep on losing. But enough about them. It's up to us to win tonight. Now, Jacksonville can turn the ball over. Now, I don't know what was going on with the Bengals and their lack of a running game last week. There was zero running game. And this week, I expect them to feed Joe Mixon quite a bit. I think he's going to get over 22 carries. And that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to lean on the run. T. Higgins is back, so hopefully he can step up. But the defense, a little out of room on the defense. They need to step up, man. We can't just be like a night and day team without Joe Burrow. We got to have some quality. So have some pride in there. Offensive line, hold up, get some holes opened up. Protect Browning. Defense, make some big plays, keep these guys into it. So I like the Bengals tonight plus the 10 points. Jacksonville will be fired up. This is like their first Monday night home game in a million years. I just think that we can keep it close. I mean, the Bengals got to have some pride. And they're getting looked at like they're just, you know, the rest of the team. I understand Joe's Joe, but you guys don't want to get looked at like a bunch of britches now, do you? So come on, boys. Let's uh, come together and um, make something, man. Give us a reason to tune in, man. This is tough. You know, I I don't know if you guys uh, realize this, but the the, the uh, money of being the Bengal genius flowing in for YouTube isn't as much as you think it would be. So I am fighting here because I want to support my boys. But you guys got to give me something to believe in. 
but I'll still be here regardless. That's how I roll. So, all right, let's watch this Monday night game. Hopefully we can get this victory and six and six, and then um, we're going to have to get to 10 wins. 10 wins and we're in. So that means we need five wins here. So that's a lot. It's going to be tough. So, all right, boys and ladies, who day? Talk to you soon.